a couple of weeks ago, Colossal Order, who made City Skylines, um, invited us to a party to celebrate them selling two million copies. It was a really cool experience because they brought together a lot of people from not just the Finnish games industry but abroad, including you know uh, some folks from Paradox. We got to meet them and you know talk to them about how the project was for them, and it was really fun. Um, everybody kind of got together and had a couple of beers and ate some food, and I was really kind of awestruck and uh, kind of honored that they would think of our studio when they were choosing uh, people to invite. So we decided that it was kind of time to do something back for them. So we made them a cake. Uh, if we did that for every studio in Dumbare who deserved one, we would just basically become a bakery. Some huge things are going on in the Dumbare gaming scene, and it's really cool that right here in our own backyard we have just humongous success and these really awesome projects. For instance, you know, City Skylines, it did two million sales and that's pretty incredible. As well as we got the guys over at Aeonic who just released Action Legion and just a, a plethora of super exciting projects. But why cake? This part is kind of my favorite. We like to have some fun. I mean, we work in gaming, right? We put in the, the long hours and we put in the effort but we also think that it's really, really imperative to have fun. Don't forget the fact that you're making entertainment and you're making stuff for people so that they can be happy. So have a little happiness for yourself. So Yoni and I, uh, we decided that we were gonna go on a little shopping trip. It was nice, we got out of the office and we just decided to goof around and have a little bit of fun and you know, get together all of the different ingredients for this cake. We thought of the Colossal Order colors, and so we're like, yeah, we're going to make this cake, and it's going to be blue and white, and uh, it'll be made of blueberries and white chocolate. It ended up actually being beige and purple. So we get all of the ingredients together, you know, we go through the checkout. We go back to the office and I'm like, okay, yeah, let's start this damn cake. And I start mixing ingredients and then I'm like, oh, wait, we don't have an oven. So we had to kind of cancel right there and send Alisa home to finish the baking. And lo and behold, this awesome, beautiful cake comes out. And we're like, hey, yeah, we're going to take it over to them. So we picked a, a time and we went over there. I thought at that point that it was probably a good idea to play a little joke. We arrive and I knock on the door and I've got a Tupperware with a single cupcake in it. And I'm like, hey guys, we said we'd bring by a cake. And Marina was just not having it. Yoni came over with the real cake and we decided to head in. And so we hung out, had some coffee, uh, talked a little bit of shop and ate some cake with those guys. So we took a second to say kind of a heartfelt congratulations to them uh, for two million sales which is huge for them but also to say thank you for inviting us to their party and thinking of the little guys so to speak because we are a pretty young studio they also gave us a little tour of their studio and we ex we gave them some steam keys uh, for Stardust Galaxy Warriors so that their team could check it out and we want to do more fun stuff like this uh, so that the Thumbaday gaming industry grows closer and people don't forget to have fun. I think everybody had a little bit of fun and I think that stuff like that needs to happen more often uh, because we can't forget that single factor, the fun factor, because that's what we need to be about in the game industry. It needs to be a little bit goofy and it needs to be a little bit crazy because we are working in a pretty fringe uh, industry that has a lot of room for this type of influence you know everything doesn't have to be cut and dry in business 24 7. Um, i think if we actually ever get to that point then we've lost sight of what working with games is all about and making games is all about we need to go out there and we need to do some silly shit. so studios in tampere and hell studios everywhere beyond notice we're coming for you i think aeonic entertainment is next we're bringing a case of beer and you better be ready if there's a takeaway from all of this it's probably that you guys need to remember to have fun and we're gonna try and help